Man, I saw um, something from Saturday Night Live, and I was really shocked to see how far we have, uh, how far we've gone to the country, man. You know? Talk to uh, me. What do you mean? I, when I saw he came out of the pole, had a brother humping on him. He was humping on the brother. Another guy licking him on the neck. Uh, he spread his legs, and homeboy was under him like he was a, a 57 ship. He needed all change, humping and humping. And I'm like, damn, mm. dude, you know, for, for a person who got who caught hell because he tried to say ass at the end of a record, man, we <laughs> went a long way in this um, ah. let the world be free shit. I mean, I ain't mad. Uh, what what two men do or two people do in the, in, in the privacy of their own homes ain't none of my damn business. Okay? Mm -hmm. But when it seems like you're trying to get my kids and my grandkids to participate, because see, what I realized for a fact, I'm going to do a video. I got a new project I'm working on. Um, I'm going to do a video and show you how images affect mm -hmm. people. Because I was affected by images. Okay? I was, I'm a victim I am a victim of images of the 70s. And when I saw Superfly, it changed my whole life, man. Mm -hmm. yep. you know? And I still got Superfly tendencies in 2021 as a grown-ass senior citizen, dude. So I know how that stuff gets into your bloodstream, gets into your mental, and it affects how you think and how you act. Mm. Well, speaking of symbols, uh, Lil Nas X released a new video this week called Sun Goes Down. Did you get a chance to look at it? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Very, very, uh, once again, a creative video like his last video, right? Uh, pretty, pretty creative. Um, this one has a lot of demonic symbols in it. You know, uh, the eyeball, the pyramids, the crescent moon, the stars, 666. And it, it's strategically placed throughout the video. And only somebody with an eye for these type of things would even pick it up. But um, it seems like they're taking an old page out of the old um, rock and roll dudes from the 70s, right? Right, man. I've been mean, with um, I've been mean, with Alice Cooper with biting it. Was it Alice, yeah, Alice Cooper and um, or Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, uh, who Ozzy Osbourne biting the mm -hmm. heads off with chickens, and not at, at some point in time, some of that stuff got to be fake. Got to be fake. It was theatrics, okay, mm -hmm. but it still was designed to perpetuate a certain image. All right, and we've seen fires being burned. We've seen pentagrams on stage. We've seen all kinds of things happen in rock and roll, but mm -hmm. um, that was, I don't know, to my knowledge, it's an old rock and roll, dude. The, mm -hmm. the, the new rock and roll ain't nowhere near as, as crazy. It, it's wild, but it ain't like it was in the 80s. And it's like right. we take it, hip hop is taking a book, taking a page out, out of 80s rock and roll and trying to implement all types of things, especially alternative lifestyles and things of that nature. That's the new shock value. I mean, because when I saw it, I was wondering what everybody was talking about. I said, we already over the uh, the last video mm -hmm. he did when he was humping on the devil. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, yeah. he got humping on some, He got four or five dudes humping on him on television. Mm -hmm. This is some special shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This last is some special yeah. shit, man. Last, huh? check it was at, last check, it was at 11 million views on YouTube, and it, it was just released like two days ago. And that's all it's about, man. That's yeah. all it's about. You know, I was telling yeah. my... Uh, one of my buddies the other day, I said, man, when uh, my generation, when the baby boom was all gone, the, the uh, generation X is going to be left to deal with this right here. By the time the X is gone, they won't have no remnants of anything that remote, re remotely uh, looks like morality. Mm. Okay? Morality will no longer be an option. You know, Chris, Christmas will probably be gone in a few years. But think mm -hmm. about this, man. I've been saying this for a while, dude. You know, mm -hmm. I've been saying this for a while, and, I, and I'm huh. not an anti-religious guy, man, but when you look and see where things have come from to where they mm -hmm. are to where they're going, okay? Mm -hmm. Where they've come from, where they are, and where they're going. In my lifetime, Christmas was a big deal. Yeah. Christmas was a big deal to everybody, mm -hmm. okay? And because we've gotten this thing where we don't want anybody to feel bad, it's like it's almost, you almost or have to feel bad for not having enough to spread around unless you're rich. <laughs> right. If you're rich, you don't give a damn, okay? Yeah. But if you're a poor man or a regular person, you have to almost tune yourself down to be able to not make anybody else feel inferior because yep. that's it.
they don't have what you have, okay? And but unless you're rich, fuck everybody, mm -hmm. okay? If you're rich, fuck the world, all right? But if you if you're an average person, they ask the average people to donate to all the causes. They ask the average people to you know give, give, give. We can we always do we give to the government? We give to people on the streets. We give in disasters. They ask us for at church. They ask us for, for political donations. Meanwhile, they get millions mm -hmm. from, from uh, corporations, but they still ask us to keep giving. Okay, but they never give back. They very seldom give back. And when you and you yeah. see situations where um, a, a holiday like Christmas, now we all we all know it was not exactly the way they portrayed it to be. But we all bought into it because of the festivities. Okay. We're going to get with family, you know, they, whatever the case is. It's an excuse to do a lot of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. yeah. money you didn't have, excuse to get, get with family. It was a, uh, in most parts of the country, it's probably pretty cold part of the year. So, you know, the snow and the Santa Claus and the chimney all made things, you know, kind of cozy and stuff. And as time has gone on, it's like, it's not that. Even when Christmas comes, man, you don't even feel it no more. I'll tell you what you do feel. Yeah. Halloween. Oh, oh, yeah, buddy. You feel Halloween. Yeah, you feel Halloween. Yeah, in August, they start pumping that shit yeah, out. Halloween. After and, 4th and of July. Just, I, just, I mean, when you sit back and you you know this thing. I mean, when Halloween was no big deal. Mm -hmm. I went to Catholic school. We mm -hmm. barely even celebrated Halloween. They asked us not to wear monster costumes in school. They asked us to wear something other than a monster or a ghost or skeleton and stuff like that. Catholic school. Because it was considered All Hallows Eve, which was a uh, something that had to do with dead. Devil, with ghosts, and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I never really was a Halloween type of kid. You know, Halloween, did, Halloween was the one holiday. Yeah, I got some extra candy and stuff, but I always had a little change. I was always a little hustle, so candy wasn't no... Candy didn't excite my ass, okay? <laughs> uh, even my, uh, but as, I, as I've gotten older, I see how many grown people get into it. it, uh, it the same excuses we had for to buy expensive things for Christmas, they now have that same thing for Halloween. That's fact. People go all out for Halloween. Decoration, mm -hmm. turn the house into a haunted house, smoke yep. machines, costumes. You know, it's a good yep. time you just put on, you know, as a kid, you might get a little plastic mask or something. You know, mm -hmm. and, some, and a hobo makeup. Hobo makeup. No, grown yeah. folks are spending big money on Halloween. So you know, it just mm -hmm. show you how things are starting to shift a little bit, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot. And and it's and it's all because we're offending a few people. I mean, they're they're trying to take. They, I mean, we can't do the pledge of allegiance. People. They take right, out in right. God we trust. Yeah. So we're, they're going to, and Christmas has Christ in front of it. So I'm assuming that's one of the reasons why it'll soon be in a, 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 a thing of the past as well. You know, and it's it's just funny, man. You know, nobody there. We don't have a uniform religion lifestyle in this whole world. So it's amazing how few people can make people, you know, start shutting down what they believe in, uh -huh. just because you don't believe in it. Okay, you know, yep. uh, I, you know, that's like somebody want to make me eat pork. I don't eat. I don't, I don't do pork. Okay, stop mm -hmm. eating pork thirty years ago. Don't make me. I don't hate pigs. I just choose not to eat pork. And as, mm -hmm. as free as we are, they're busy taking away freedoms based on how somebody else feels about what you're doing. How, what the, how is that related? Mm -hmm. Why is why is why is what I do in my house else's business? Mm -hmm. Okay, if it don't affect you by burning down your property, if I keep my yard clean, if I want to cook. Uh, go, go, goat meat on a Sunday morning that had nothing to do with nobody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that's what you want to do, I don't cook goat meat. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you want to eat goat, if you want to cook goat, that's your business. Just don't, don't, I ain't got to eat it. What do I care? Mm -hmm. 